Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, if you are new here, that is so cool. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. My name is Lindsay, I'm 25 years old. I'm from San Diego and I make a YouTube video once in a blue moon. If you are not new here, thank you so much for watching my two videos I post here. Today we are doing a haul. And this haul is of aloe yoga. It is a sport, like athleisure, athletic clothes, athleisure clothes, yoga clothes. It used to be like primarily yoga. Now it's more like all encompassing of athletic wear. Um, something comparable to like maybe Lululemon. Definitely the prices are higher than your average Shein little liking. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that I bought at Allo Yoga. Um, so the total of everything that I have is not what I paid for it, which is really, really cool. If you know, you know. The point is, if you were to go out and purchase all these things that I bought from Allo Yoga, the total is like $1,300. Um, however, I did not spend nearly $1,300 on any of this. It was definitely very discounted for me. Is it worth it? So I'm gonna show you all everything. This is a try on haul, so I'll show you how everything fits. Talk about the fit, talk about if I would wear it for a workout versus just kinda like loungy wear, all that kind of stuff. I'll tell you as I go piece by piece which pieces I think are really worth it. I have like probably like four or five pieces that I'm like, oh yeah, like I would have paid full price for this, but everything else I'm probably like, wouldn't have dropped this much money on it. I mean, personally, I think their stuff is really, really cute, comfortable. Overall, uh, I think buying higher quality pieces makes your closet more sustainable because you can wear them for longer. So I'm happy to have all these new pieces and also I spend a good amount of time in workout clothes. If I'm not in professional clothes, I'm probably in workout clothes. So I felt like the need to kind of revamp my workout wardrobe. Okay, so I'm gonna go by category. Uh, so I'll do like tops, sports bras, blah, 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 blah. And also I wear a medium. So the first thing is this basic little black tank top. It's, it's a, one thing I do really like about Aloe is their like logo, their like branding, I guess. Um, it's like pretty small, just little Aloe, and it's usually pretty hidden. There are things that I have that like say Aloe across, and I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, really. Not everybody's a logo girly. I like the way that their branding is. I think it's like cute and subtle and classy, and it's usually like, reflective silver. This tank top in particular, um, literally 1000% a hit. So much of a hit that I actually had to buy it in gray as well. This is like for sure one of my absolute favorite things I've gotten from Mallow. It's like a really, really thick material. I do not need to wear a bra with it. I do have pretty small boobs, but I mean, I think it gives me like a pretty good support even to work out in. It's just tight, form-fitting, really thick material. And it's also really cute for like an actual everyday tank top too, like a little crop tank top with jeans or under a flannel or whatever. Like it's a really good, both like workout and real life tank tops. I want to say they were like 58 and I'll have to put the name down below because this one I can't find the tag for. Next top that I have from them is this short sleeve little ribbed top. It's actually called a ribbed short sleeve. It's nice like spandexy kind of material, good for working out. I'd probably wear a sports bra under it, but other than that, like like fine support for working out. Super cute, really good workout top. And I don't really have a lot of like workout like tops like this. Like I have a lot of sports bras or like looser like shirts. So I don't have like form fitting tops. So I thought this was really good. Uh, the next couple tops that I have from them are a little less like workout tops. This one is a little tank top, ribbed tank top that says aloe on it. And this one I think is honestly like really cute with a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts or something like that. It's, it also can be a good gym shirt, but it definitely has to be worn with a sports bra. It doesn't really have any sort of support. The next 
top that I have. So this is the only top that I had to get in a large just because they were sold out in my size. It's this little aloe on the neck crop top. And then the back is super duper cute, really open shows off your whole back so cute if this one was a medium if it fit me it would be a perfect workout top like definitely is like that spandexy material that would hug you in night you wouldn't need to wear a bra so that the cute back could show but i still bought the top anyways because i think this is like the cutest like casual top like i would wear this with just jeans and air forces and think it's like the cutest outfit ever next we'll do shorts these shorts are they're like waffle fabric collection shorts so they're more of like a comfy almost like pj short than workout shorts i probably wouldn't necessarily work out in these at all honestly if you know you know they're really good da shorts anyways they also make your fatty look fatty so there you go Next pair of shorts that I have, these little spandexy, just regular little workout shorts. These are really good. I really like these. If you work out a lot and you're looking for a good short that doesn't ride down, I think these are pretty good. They don't really roll up either, which is super nice. They fit really well and they're just like a good amount of like high, like they're not super high waisted, but they still like you in, you know? Does that make sense? Like, next we'll do the sports bras that I have. So this first one is the Wild Things bra. It is so cute. I'm actually obsessed with this one. This is another one like would pay full price for. it. The design is just so cute. I've never really seen another sports bra like it. The support is great. It's a sports bra that's like kind of long enough to wear just like as your little top. They have it in so many colors. I think it's so cute. Just 10 out of 10 love this sports bra next i have this little label ho tiny little thing it's small it's really small i wouldn't wear it to the gym i'd wear it like on a walk or something I i'd wear it to the gym on an arm day when i'm not like jumping around so much it's really it's tiny so i don't have boobs so like i'm good but if you have boobs you might kind of you know Okay, the next bra, actually it's kind of hard to say which one I would get over that first Wild Things bra and this one. Maybe even both. This one is so cute to me. It's just this little plain regular sports bra, but the straps are kind of like buckle-y almost, like utility kind of vibe. I don't really know what you would call that, but it is so cute, so flattering. Obsessed with that one. And the last one, um, I also really, really like this sports bra. So their sports bra is 10 out of 10. I've just like never really seen another bra like this. So if that's what you're going for, like a, a unique bra, I guess, like not just like your basic little razor back, then I would definitely go for that bra. It's just so cute and like with a pair of black leggings it looks like a little set and actually I do have one more sports bra I'm wearing it at the moment this okay yeah this bra is also a 10 out of 10 like I would definitely pay full price for this the full price for it is $68 but it is so cute look at the back of this sports bra I'm absolutely obsessed with it this one is called the airbrush suspension bra um, so I got it in white. The one thing I will say about getting it in white is the fabric right here is a little see-through. Um, it doesn't really bother me, but if that would bother you, then I wouldn't recommend white. Kind of same going for a lot of their clothes. The white color and the ivory color are almost like see-through. So I would be conscious about that if you are looking for something white. Uh, definitely try it on or get another color. And next we have the cutest little set ever in the world. This is called the Whisper set. I got it in this pink magenta color, which is just so cute. It's this little top and then these joggers. And these joggers are so, so comfy. They make your booty look <laughs> fatty and I love the placement of the aloe. It's on the leg in the back which I think is so cute, so subtle. Um, I'm not going to say go out and splurge on it because 
it is pretty pricey. I think the pants themselves are like $98 and the top's probably like $58. So the next set that I have is a hoodie and sweatpant combo. It's called the Alkalade Sweatpant and Alkalade Hoodie, I think. They are so comfortable like so comfortable and the little aloe on this is like more reflective and just like raised I don't really know what you would call this but it's just super cute and it's really subtle and then I just needed like a good pair of white sweatpants so I went with white but they have a bunch of different colors also a good like winter gym like getting to the gym kind of fit i don't know if anybody else does this but like i'll put like sweats over my like shorts if i want to wear shorts that day to the gym so these are like really good for that so probably pretty pricey the hoodie <laughs> the hoodie is 118 and the pants are 108 um do i think it's worth it uh maybe when they're having a sale. I will say the fleece lining inside is really, really comfortable. So if you have the money, then yeah, it's worth it. But don't go broke over those sweats. Like they're really comfy, but I don't know. Do what you want, do what you will. Okay, so those are my two sets. And then now like sweaters. I have this crew neck sweater. This is something that I definitely think is worth it. The full price of this crew neck is uh, 84 again a little steep but the perfect crop to me like so cute I don't have any cropped crew neck so I felt like I was like okay yeah love the little branding on the side and I love it so much that I actually did get it in white as well I have these leggings that I'm wearing right now these are the 7 8 high waist airbrush leggings so like aloe has normal length and then seven eighths length so like a little shorter i'm five seven like and a half and i wear the seven eighths length they're pretty long so if you're a tall girl and you can never find leggings that fit you or pants like aloe might be the spot for you the airbrush are more cotton leggings and then they have the airlift leggings which are more spandexy. I'm just more of a cottony leggings kind of girl. The spandex material I feel like falls down on me a little more but I am really really picky about leggings especially if I'm going to spend a lot of money on leggings and these leggings are actually really good. If you're looking for like cute good quality leggings there is like lululemon too but what i like about aloe better is i feel like their stuff is just cuter maybe it's just more my style but i don't always love lululemon's prints i just feel like i would own more from lululemon if i thought it was like cuter even though these are literally just like plain ass green leggings and then the other pant that I own from them are these um, 7 8 boot cut high waisted leggings. Let me tell you, if you're going to get absolutely anything from Aloe, it should be these pants. They're like the perfect yoga pant. They're so cute. They also have ones with like a slit in the front, which I think is so, so cute as well. I just couldn't justify getting two pairs. Like I already have one. These are everything. They're so comfy. They're just chef's kiss. Booty looking fat. They're just the perfect yoga pant. The last time I made yoga pants, they were like from Victoria's Secret Pink and had sequins on the ass. So these are just like the grown up version. And then I just have this little aloe tote that they actually give you if you spend a certain amount as like your shopping bag. And sometimes they switch up the colors as well, so these are really cute. You can also buy them in the store, but I wouldn't. I would just spend more to get that for free. And then the last thing I have are these aloe hats. They are absolutely so cute. I have it in pink with the pink on pink writing and then I also have the black on black which is so cute and then finally I have this little 
black and white aloe hat and I'm actually gonna be giving this hat away to someone you can enter for a chance to win this aloe hat I will just ship it to the winner all you need to do to enter is going to be to subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Instagram which I'll link down below and like and comment on this video I will ship it right to you and we can be aloe twins and look like little influencers in our little aloe we've made it through that is everything that I own from aloe yoga is it worth it hit or miss if there's a piece that you really really love then I say go for it because it's gonna last you a long time really good quality make sure not to stick any of it in the dryer so that way it lasts you even longer plus there are other workout companies you can probably find a more local company to you and a more sustainable company here in San Diego a company I really love is called Viore um, so I'll link them down below they have really cute stuff I just always feel better about supporting brands that I know are actually interested in changing the sustainability of fashion. This video is not in any way sponsored by Aloe. I wish it was. Um, so maybe if you could please subscribe to me and like this video so that one day 